Hey friends! Welcome to this vlog on our food trip at Yangyeon Korean Barbecue Restaurant. The branch where we're taking you is in Taejong Pagar. Enjoy watching, guys! Yangyeon um, Korean Barbecue is um, along Pexia Street here in uh, Taejong Pagar. So if you'll be like using the MRT, right? So you exit from, you take exit A, and then Pexia is just right here. Uh, it's in this area lang and uh, we, we don't know yet specifically where we're going to look for it okay so this is exit A you can see Pexia Street there okay. we don't specifically uh, know where we're going to because um, prior to this I, I actually didn't check out any vlogs pertaining to this restaurant so um, let's see let's see where it is and uh, hopefully it's really like uh, worth it to go to that place and um, celebrate my son's birthday actually. So after going up the staircase, you turn right. This street here, that's Pexia already. Okay, And uh, I think this this building on the right is Sofitel. Yeah. Huh? Len. This is Sofitel. I know. Okay, so this is Pexia. Okay, let's go. Let's walk and look for the place. Okay. So what's so special about this uh, Yang Yong Korean barbecue restaurant? I mean, here in Tanjong Pagar, as you know, there are just so many Korean um, barbecue restaurants here. This, this place is actually well known for that also. But specifically, right, this Yang Yong, it was recommended to me by my Korean office mate. So, you know, having said a while ago that there are many Korean restaurants here, I asked him, I asked him like, which, which place can you recommend? This is one of the restaurants that he recommended to me. And actually this uh, Yang Yong, there are several other branches. I think there are, there are three branches all in all. And um, one of them I think is in Chinatown. And then another one I forgot, I can, I can tell you later. But um, this is the other one here in uh, Tanjong Pagar, specifically this um, Pexia Street. So while walking here along Pexia, you'll see this um, building here. There's also another Korean barbecue. It says Itaewon Chajang. Uh, well, sorry, I really don't know how to pronounce that. But anyway, so this is the place. This is the street, I mean. So we're still looking for it. So the restaurant is, uh, the address is uh, number two Pexia Street, but Currently, um, these buildings on the left, I mean, these um, shops on the left, that was number 20, and I think this is, oh, this is number one. How come? Yeah, oh, number one. That was number 20, this is number one. It's a Korean, another Korean barbecue restaurant. I don't know the name. It says here, Mimi. Okay. Ah, here it is. So there, Yang Hyun, Korean barbecue. Okay. That's, uh, 01-02 okay. 01-02 Yangyo This is the place and what does it say here? Oh, it's still closed See, opening hours, lunch 11.30 to 3 Dinner is 5, it says here 5.30 to 10.30 However, they actually allow um, two reservations here First is 5.30 to 7.30, so this, which is what we selected. And then the other is 7.30 to, I believe 7.40, something like 7.40. I was told 7.40 to 9.30. 9.30 is the last order, but you can stay until 10.30. That's what we said. Anyway, so notice for this coming September, Chinatown branch will totally close. So yeah, so here, one, one is in Telok. I don't know, the lock branch, and then this is Pexia, okay? So it says here, weekday lunch, 10% off. Okay, I think we still can go in. So these are their different barbecue set menus. Set A, this is uh, all pork, I believe. Set B is all beef. Set C is a mixture. And then set D is chicken set. Then you have, oh, free steam egg. Okay, this is the one that I like. Oh, I told you that I want, I want you to taste. 
Then if it's too small, then you have to choose either of these. Okay. Then they have a signature menu here. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Then, this is pork barbecue. So this is all the pork barbecue um, meal, meats. Then you have beef barbecue, okay. You have pancakes and appetizers, grilled fish. Hot pot. Uh, I wonder what the size is. You have noodles, Korean style noodles, rice and stew. Okay. That's it. Oh, they have what's this? Grilled barbecue set. This is Pexia. Okay, so it's actually in front of Maxwell Chamber Suites. This is Maxwell Chamber Suites. Okay. And then that is Sofitel, where we came from. Okay, so if you guys are coming from the opposite side of Pexia Street, this is Pexia, right? So the Yang Yon Barbecue Restaurant is just here, okay? In this uh, Airview, so-called Airview building. And uh, I see that there are several other Korean barbecue restaurants here. But anyway, our target is just located there. The restaurant is still closed, so we cross over to the other side to look for a, for an air-conditioned place to stay because it's very hot as usual. But we failed. They opened the restaurant at exactly 5.30 and uh, there were a few people queuing with us. We were greeted by the friendly staff. As you can see, the place isn't big at all. Therefore, it is truly advisable to call and make an early reservation because um, it was actually jam-packed later on. So this is, um, this is where we're gonna be seated at. It's just right near the entrance. So we're ordering set C, right? So beef and pork set. It's for two to three packs and then so it comes with all these already, right? Free steam egg and free one of these. What do you want? Okay, you choose so. What stew do you like? I don't know I'm buying There's a free. Yeah, but it's free anyway. This is really important, guys, especially if you're ordering any food under the barbecue set menu. Aside from the steamed egg and stew, the meal comes with eight side dishes that are refillable. Yes. Eight, eight side dishes and you can have any dish or even all of them refilled. We don't remember seeing that explicitly mentioned in the menu so when you visit the restaurant make sure that you ask again. It makes a lot of difference because if they do provide that still when you come then you actually don't have to order extra other meals. Something quite funny happened uh, when we entered this place right? Because there was a waiter here. The name, the name is also like similar as mine, Michael. And he's also Filipino. But anyway, as we entered, so they asked for the uh, pangalan kung kanin namin reserve tong place. So when they found out it was Michael, right? So they called the guy. And then when I entered, so this guy recognized me, the waiter. And um, unfortunately, I couldn't recognize him. But then suddenly, I remembered where. So this young yon actually, nakapunta na pala ako dito dati with my office mates but it was in, in another branch, it's a Chinatown. It was um, a Chinatown Point Mall. And yeah, there was one time we went there with my office mates and, and we really had fun. The food was great. And, uh, but, but, I forgot, but, but I forgot the name of that restaurant somehow. But anyway, I was told that Sarado na yung restaurant yun. So they closed already. Don't go there guys. There's no more young yon there. So it's only here and uh, the other one is in the, um, I think Talok Ayer, anyway, I, I, I showed that a while ago. So you can, you can just rewind and check again. So guys, let's try all the side dishes. So, what's that, Gab? Can I? Uh, wow, looks nice, huh? I don't know what this is, but... Parang ano siya. It looks like it looks like sashimi, but it's not. Mm. And it's um, a bit cold. 
two K tonight. Then you have all these onions here. It tastes sweet. It's nice. And then what is this? Egg, I think. Bean curd. Mm. Ah, okay. Thank you. And then what is this? Another veggie. This one also like like kangkong. Oh. Tawag dito sa dilis ulit. Dilis. The side dishes are filling actually. And then this uh, steamed egg. It comes with a beef set. Okay. Sarap yan. It's one of my favorites. So, yeah. so feeling ko mabubusog na kami sa side dishes pa lang kasi magami na siya. Tapos refillable na. You don't really have to order a lot when you're done. And um, okay din po kasi if you like to drink <laughs> na kayong giving appetizer. Yeah, sure. So our meat has arrived and the server is gonna cook it for us, gonna barbecue it for us actually. So there, this is the set C, right? Yeah. Combination of uh, beef and pork. Wow, what's all that? Okay, to get this is soup. The stew is just enough for four small cups, and for us, that was sufficient already. Soju. How much is the soju here? Soju. It's about 30 pesos. 30 pesos. Yeah. 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 Almost always like fifteen dollars. Mm. Oh really? The base is on the volume, which is much higher than the beer. Oh. Of course, more expensive if you were the tandoori. Okay, nari nung pa. Hello. Ah, isa-isa lang ano? Pwede rin ganito. Kasi pareho lang tempura ito lang itong dalawa. Hmm. Malapas ko mga boy. Kanala ko sabi nung nung nato kami sa Chinatown, sabi ng mga kasama kong koreano. Gusto nila isa-isa lang yung binabarbecue. Oo, oh, oh, hindi alam. Oo, pag nag-iinuman. Oo. Oh. Kaya makulo sa atin. Hmm. Oo, pag dahil, masarap pag hindi. Bakit nagsara yun dun? Mahal na? Mahal yung renta? Our server, Michael, was sharing with us that their branch in Chinatown closed already. That was where my office mates and I went to last time. I remember they even served buffet meals back then. I in turn shared with him that uh, my Korean office mates taught us to barbecue the meat one by one. Wow. Stay. See that? Looks so juicy. Mmm! Stop, ah. So we were told after, you know, after barbecuing one one type of meat, right, that you wipe it, wipe it clean with a tissue here so that the next meat, right, that you're gonna barbecue don't have that burnt uh, taste. So the way to do it is like this. Take the meat, Put it there, and then choose your side dish. Put the side dish, garlic here. Okay. Oh, by the way, guys, we also provide free refill of this one. Like Korean tea, of course, but tastes like Japanese tea. And then you roll this and eat it. The tea is refillable too. Wow! What more can you ask for, guys? Oh yeah, well, hopefully the soju too is refillable. <laughs>
So after barbecuing one type of meat, right? So you clean it first, remove all the leftovers before you put the next the next meat. Then start cooking. Sarap nung, uh, sarap nung meat nila. Very, ano, very juicy and tender. We asked for a refill of, refill of, it's not fish, fish cake. Fish cake. I haven't tasted this. Kimchi. Yes. Some onions there. The onions are sweet. Here's the aftermath of the barbecue. Meron pa mga natira, like this. The food is so filling. I mean, right now, you know the feeling that you don't like to look at food anymore. Sobrang busog kami. We are really so full. This is really a, a place worth going to. You must all try try this place. You don't have to spend a lot here. You just you know you just order um, a beef set. And then it comes with all the free side dishes already that you can, I mean, not free, but you can freely refill so, as, um, for as much as you want. Actually, we didn't have we didn't have so much of it because we are already full, basically. And then the, the drinks, right? Um, I mean, it comes with free, free iced, um, iced green tea, and, uh, which is sufficient already. And if you want that, you can you can buy beer, soju, and um, plus a side dish as well. So it would be perfect. We highly recommend this place. It's, it's, it's really a, a great place to go to and give us all try it. What do you want to say? It tastes good. What can you say? Can I say? You don't want to say it, but you don't what can you say about about the meal? Delicious. Food is delicious. Yeah. Rigel. Yeah, it's nice. And also Loud, cool. louder. Maybe cool. Sarap pa. Dami. Abuso. <laughs> um, that's it, guys. We'll see you again next time. Thank you for watching this vlog. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you.